Hi there guys, how you doing? It's Lee Roberts from the Centipede Keeper page. Um, yeah, this is um, a video unpacking day of some Madagascar Nisus um, Captive Born Centipedes. Um, these were actually from Adam Adam Wiggins' um, female that he got from bugsuk.com. Um, if that's the website address, I'm sure it is, but yeah, um, I've actually gone and purchased some off him and yes they have arrived so rather than waffling I'm just going to put it down and I'm going to unpack them. I don't know how big they are so I've got this 5 inch high container just in case they run around. I'm going to do them one by one. I've got the enclosures ready. I don't know how many there are so I've got some done already. But yeah, here we go. Sorry if you get to see me on the pitch now. I don't mean to actually be in the way. It's a case of balancing my phone because iPhones are crap. So you yeah, you see me, hello. Right, very well packed from the outside of looking things and he's actually made it very, very clear. This way up handle with care. I like the way he's put the caution on it. Some people have bought stuff from, they don't even have that, it's just a, a box with a little piece of handwritten paper. Um, very very good communication with Adam throughout the whole process even just through general chat he's like really top dude definitely worth obviously if he ever sells more of these in the future if he gets any more of that I obviously grab it then that'd be good and we got bubble wrap where's the heat pack heat pack's still nice and warm still nice and warm probably got about another I'd probably say another hour or two, maybe three hours in that, so that's very, very good, very, 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 very well done as well. So, yeah, inside of the bubble wrap feels, feels slightly warm. And they are alive because I've seen one already and this one is actually, wow, these are tiny. These are like, these are like immensely tiny. I'll try and get one on video for you if iPhone doesn't. There we go, Madagascanesis, if that's how it's pronounced, Scolopendra. Apparently a lot of breeders are actually selling them as Barbie, um, Barbados species Scolopendra. Um, look very, very similar. They probably are the same thing, but that's what we're all here for, we're all here to look. So look at the markings on that tail, that tail is amazing. Uh, I believe he said the big tub. Um, right, hang on a minute, I've kind of gone out of focus here a minute with the camera, so try and get it back into focus. There we go. Apparently he said that there's a big container that I'll have two in, uh, which is one here. Oh, right, one, two, three. Well, that means I'll have six. That's very, very nice of you, Adam. Thank you very much. Um... My whole intentions of these is obviously to get them, get them alive and well, and then going to put them in a breeding program. Obviously, I'm not quite sure how it works with like obviously babies from the same clutch, maybe obviously reproducing again. I'm not sure on that. I'd have to look into that. I don't know. I don't know whether it's against things or not. Which obviously we're all here on that group to learn. We've got some really good. Another thing I've got to mention as well, whilst I'm still trying to get this container open, I'd like to thank everybody for actually joining the page, because the more and more members that we get each day, and the bigger it grows, the better it'll be. We're all here to do one thing, which is learn about these fascinating animals. And yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for all the hard effort, obviously, getting people for me. I may be announcing probably another one or two admin, but I've got to think about that, yeah, because last time I did this on a, a group, um, it backfired and turned on me, so yeah, I'll soon go through that. But yeah, anyway, enough of the chatting. I'm going to try and undo these without obviously this one freaking out. Uh, I've got to see where it is now. Oh, there you are. God, these are really tiny. These are really, really pretty babies. Very, very nice colour to them. It's a shame that obviously when they get older, they're going to be a bit. One thing that obviously everybody knows is when you get centipedes, just obviously take caution because these are 
win the babies. I'm not sure about the venom potency, but I know that they are, when adults, extremely potent with venom. So um, I just want to make that perfectly clear to everybody that when you're dealing with centipedes, always take extreme great caution. Oh, here we go. God, you are pretty. I'm going to try and get this on camera without it turning and trying to bite me. I'm not bothered about a bite from one of these. If it was venomous, then fair play to it because obviously it's what they are. But this is a Scolopendra madagascanesis or Barbados species, whichever one people want them to be known as. But yeah, I'll try and get a better view of them anyway in a minute. So, just give me a second again. This... Awful camera work, awful camera work, but what do you expect? I'm not. I'm not amazingly good when it comes to doing videos, but people like me doing my videos, so. Stand still. Right, there we go. And the worst thing about this now, I've got pins and needles in my leg, so. Of all that, you decide to go at the bottom of the container. I don't think I've ever actually seen centipedes as small captive, captive born or bred ones. Oh wow, you are really pretty. There you go. Let's try and get this one now before it decides it's going to run off. Scolopendra madagascanesis. If that's all they said. That's how I've been saying it to everybody for ages and now they complain. But yeah, these are my very first ever captive born. Um, and I'm going to make every intention of hopefully. There is one person I've come across on the internet. I'm trying to get him to join my, well, the Facebook page, but he's a bit unsure about it. Um, basically... He actually knows how to sex them and he actually does um, a trick with CO2 whereby he allows it to be knocked unconscious and then he he can push the genitals out. I am actually going to try my best to try and um, get this guy to come on. And then obviously when these get a little bit older I want to try and get all of them sexed and then which ones are males and females I'm going to pair up. Right, well there's one and I'm quite happy about that. Sorry this seems like a long video but can't really see throughout all the humidity but obviously this is what we want, we want one specimens that are relying on humidity. When the babies they are quite moisture dependent. So right there's one. Sorry if you can see a load of tissues and try my conservatory is really cold. But I'm trying to keep them as warm as possible because my mum and dad have come and they've got a dog with them. And the last thing I want is for one of these to run out and then the dog either eats it or <laughs> gets bit by this animal. So I like the way he's done them in these little containers. These are actually these are actually really good, just like little things. So There's another one in there. Can't tell whether it's dead or alive though. Most likely it's alive because it's very human and something's moving. Apparently there's two in that one. Oh wow, these are cool as well. They're cool as well. I like little film cell things. Could be wrong. Right, so all together I'll have one, two, three, four, five. I'll have six. So it gives me a lot to play with. Um, right, let's get a, another one of these containers open. These containers are good. Um, basically, my setups just rely on. I have this spider substrate that's similar to Eco Earth, but it's got like. Um, it's got traces of vermiculite and mix that with some forest moss. And then these tubs are about a pound from Poundland. 
you usually get about eight or nine in a bundle so I always make sure I have about three lots just in case obviously people send me stuff or whatever so right specimen number two. Oh, I like the way that's a screw on lid that's really good all right now we're gonna see this guy's this guy's arrived okay I have to admit this is brilliant packing like I've never packed a centipede in my life but I imagine if I did this is how I would do it uh, obviously the more moths the better but obviously when they come to feed I'll have to hand feed them because they're very very small I'm sure this is spag moss Oh, here's another baby. Alive and well as well. Oh, wow, these have got like electric blue legs. It's awesome. I don't know whether I should be doing this, but. Phone's not focusing very well. There we go. That one looks a lot slower than the other ones, so put him down on there. Like I have to say, within this kind of weather that we're having at the moment, um, you can't really be too. You, you can't really blame for what the weather's like at the moment but as soon as I put that one down that one's pissed off somewhere he's within here somewhere oh there he is go on have a walk yeah well again I can't stress how good this packing is thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to keep these and these will definitely be bred um, as everybody knows, because I started the group, I want to try and collect as many as possible in order to try and get them to breed, because I'm not very fond of the whole wild caught thing, so there right, is another one, specimen three. I thought that one was actually coming to run out then, it would have been a bit of fun. I'm going to do this as gentle as possible because I don't want it freaking out and... This one looks like it's burrowed all the way but down to the very bottom. And there's specimen three. Wow, this one's actually bigger than the other ones. Sorry if it keeps seeming like I'm moving around but... Look at that. Loving the blue legs. It's a shame that obviously they couldn't keep these legs until they get older, but. Very, very impressed with. Very, very, very impressed with the shipping service. You probably got my face on camera then as well. Um, sorry if the video over there doesn't seem very clear or anything. Um, I'm still thinking these tubs might be a bit too big for these centipedes so I'm going to keep a good eye on them for a couple of days and obviously if they don't do very well then I'll downsize the tub even more. It's just I didn't expect the babies being this small because I don't know how